Bring your awareness to your breath. Take a few deep breaths in and out. Feel the front to back and side to side movement of the body with the breath. Feel the temperature of your room. Notice the sounds, scent, the taste in your mouth. Feel the coolness of, your, of the air as it moves across the nostrils or through the nostrils on the inhale. Feel the warmth of the air as you exhale out through the nose. Feel your sitting bones heavy on your mat. Feel the connection to the earth. Feel gravity drawing you down. Lift your eyes up to 12 o'clock and make circles with your eyes. And then lift the eyes to 12 o'clock again and circle the eyes in another direction. And then lift the eyes to 12, take them across to three. Over to nine, down to six. Lift them up to 12. Take them to nine, over to three, down to six. And then let the eyes float back to the center of the sockets. Gently squeeze and release. Squeeze and release and squeeze and release. Bring your curled index fingers to your forehead and draw the fingers from the center of the forehead out to your temples. And then take your index fingers and your thumbs and just find the ridge of your brow just above your eyes, but right at your eyebrows. And then just gently squeeze and move from the corners of your nose all the way up to the edges of your eyes. So remember this helps to relieve any sinus pressure. So especially now with all the pollen around, this is a good practice. And then bring your index fingers to the corners of your nose, right at the corners of your eyes. And then just begin to gently press on the lower ridge of your eye socket. You know, sort of massaging the sinuses, allowing them to open. And 
and rub your palms together. Bring the base of your hands to your eyes. Bring your index fingers and middle fingers to your temples and make circles with your temples at the temple. And then go the other way. And then come to your jaws and make circles with your head and your jaw. And go the other way. Bring your palms together, rub them together. And then just bring your hands to rest on your face. And then release the hands down, let them rest with your thighs for a moment. Take your arms out in front of you. Spread and close your fingers. And then open and close your hands. Make a loose fist and make some circles with your wrists. And then go the other way. Flip your palms up towards the um, front of the room and point the fingers down and just wave your hands up and down. And bring the palms together. Interlace your fingers, press the palms away. Reach your arms up. And with your exhale, lean to the left. And then come back up and lean right. Then come back up and lean left. Then up and lean right. And up and then release your arms, roll your shoulders. And go the other way. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale with a pop. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. And then extend your legs out in front of you. Scrunch and spread your toes. Point and flex your feet. Make some circles with your ankles. And then pause and go the other way. And then we shall wipe the legs. Slide your heels, tap the legs. And bring your hands forward. And just let your hands rest on your shins. Press down into your shins, lift up your chest. And then bend your knees, take the legs about hip distance apart. Reach your arms through, press your fingers down and round your back. Extend your legs and hinge forward. Press down to lift up. And then Bring the knees in again, reach through, round your back as you press the fingertips down. Extend your legs, hinge forward. <laughs> and then one more time, bend your knees, reach your arms through, round your back. Extend your legs, slide the heels and tap them. Hold on behind your knees and take your legs out wide. 
and just come forward. Walk over to your right leg and stretch through your left arm. And then walk over to the right and left leg and stretch through the right arm. Come back to the middle. Press your palms down and lift up your chest. And walk yourself up. Hold on behind your knees. Bring the folds of your feet together. Let your hands come behind you and let the knees drop over into the sides. And then bring your feet to the floor. Rock your knees from side to side. And then cross your right leg in, and then, whoops, cross the right leg and then the left leg. Reach up with your left arm and walk up to the right and stretch from your fingertips down to the sitting bones. And come all the way up, excuse me, take up the right arm. Walk out to the left, stretch, and then come back up. Take your left hand to the outside of the right knee, right hand behind you. Press the left hand against the right thigh. Twist, ribs, chest, and shoulder. Come back through the middle. Take the right hand to the outside of the left knee. Press your hand against your thigh and twist, ribs, chest, and shoulders. And then come back to the middle, extend the legs again, slide your heels. Them. Take your right foot into your left thigh or left knee, wherever you can reach your foot. And then hinge forward. Hold on to the left ankle with your left hand and reach up with your right arm. Exhale and fold forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and fold forward. One last time. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold forward. Walk yourself up. Twist towards your bent knee. And twist towards your straight leg. Come back to the middle. Take the right leg and cross it over the left. Reach your right arm up. Bring it to the inside of the right leg and press one against the other. Come back to the middle. Reach up with your left arm. Reach it forward. So this one we did this last week, it's a little bit um, wonky, but so reach your left arm forward, bring it across your knee, over the top of your knee, and then bend your elbow and press your arm against your knee and twist. Come back to the middle, slide your heels. And then take the left foot into the right leg. And walk yourself forward. Hold on to the right ankle with your right hand. Reach up with the left arm. Exhale and lower. Inhale, reach up, stretch open the chest, and then hinge forward. Inhale, reach your arm up. And exhale, hinge forward. Walk yourself up. Twist towards your bent knee. And twist towards the straight leg. Come back to the middle. Bring your left foot to the floor. Reach up with your left arm. Bring it to the inside of the left leg. Press one against the other. Take your right hand behind you and twist. Come back to the middle, 
Reach up with your right arm, bring it forward, cross the right arm over the top of the left knee, and then bend your elbow and twist. One side's easier than the other. And then come back to the middle, extend both legs, take them just about a distance apart. Windshield wipe the legs, free up the hips. And then let's come on to hands and knees and grab one of your weights. And take a weight right behind your left knee. Now, if you have a knee issue, you don't have to use any weight. Or if this is uncomfortable for you in any way, don't use any weight. If you're using a weight, squeeze it between your knee and your thigh. Lift your thigh, almost parallel to the floor. Flex your foot and let's pulse for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Bring the knee down and switch the weight to your other side. Again, squeeze the weight in between your knee and your, your calf and your thigh. And then flex your foot and let's pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And then set the weight aside. And let's just round the back. Lift your chest, bring yourself to neutral, and then let's step the feet forward, and bring yourself up to forward fold. Bring the weight to the balls of your feet. You can have your hands on your shin, a little bend in your knees, and then slowly roll yourself up. Bend your knees and roll your shoulders. Inhale up and exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale your shoulders up. Exhale with a ha. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. And let's get ready for party. So set aside all things that might be a trip hazard. Make sure you have some water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Start in the middle of your mat. Let's just mark. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, take it wide, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and across, two, three, four, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, take it up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and jab, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 
And then pause, bring your hands to your thighs, round your back, and lift your chest, and round, and lift, and then bring yourself up to standing. And let's step back with the left leg, bring your hands onto your left thigh. We'll tap for 15, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then roll it up. Step the right foot and let's tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, side to side, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 15, 15, and roll it up. Good. Grab a weight. Come to stand in Tadasana. So feet are about the distance apart, parallel to one another. Descend the butt flush just a bit with your sternum. And we'll roll, we'll bend from side to side. Here we go. One, two, Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And switch the weight to the other side. Here we go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I'll bring the weight to the center of the body, either keep it right at your belly button, let the elbows in, take the elbows up, and lift the weight to your chest. Either way, let's twist. One, keep the hips facing forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. And then just set the weight down. And let's do some front, uh, let's just do some uh, lunges. So we're gonna go back like this, okay? So here we go, we'll start. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two more, ten, well, to twelve, <laughs> eleven, and twelve. And there we go. So take your legs wide, grab a weight again. Pick your legs wide. We're just going to do some plie squats. So lower, 
and lift. Two, lift. Three, lift. Four, lift. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then just heel toe your feet together. You can set your weight down. Let's do some um, pull downs. So we're going to start with the arms up. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And then take the arm up behind. So bend your elbow, bring your hand behind, take your left knee out to the left side, and we're just gonna crunch. Two, three, four, five. You're gonna do ten, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then let's do the other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just do eight here. Seven and eight. So we have time to grab some water and get ready for the next round. <laughs> Start at the left edge of your mat. It goes in. It goes mark time. Left, left, left. And let's take it up. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Right. One, two, three. Back. Two, three, four. Right. Two, three, four. Take it up. One, two, three, four. Right. Two, three. Four and back. Left. Diagonal. Tap. One. Two. Three. Tap. One. Two. Three. Four. Tap. One. Two. Three. Four. Tap. Get over to the other side. One, two, two, three, four, march it out. One, two, three, four, left, two, three, four, back. Right, you can do three, four, march it out. One, two, three, four, left, two, three, four. Get back, three, four, right, two, three, four, down. Hands tap, <laughs> two, three, four, tap, one, two, three, four, tap, one, two, three, four, tap, come to the middle of the mat. Take your legs wide. And lunge to the right, take the arms up to the side, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Come back up to the center, hamstring curls. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and five. And let's do ten more. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, mark. And let's do a couple of these steps, four or five on each side. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Five. Let's start with one. Two, three, four, five. And that was that. So grab a drink again. And then just step together. Let's go. Here we go. One, two, three. And 11, 12. Step together, step touch. Here we go. Two. Great fun. Just step together. Maybe bring the hands out in front and just side to side. Just kind of sway your hips. Imagine you have a little pain here and you're just waiting. Maybe even just bounce the knees a little. And let's step behind, step, get. Step behind, step, get. Good. Do a knee. Knee. And let's just take side to side. Swing your arms. Okay.
So let's do some hammer curls. So with hammer curls, the weights are parallel to one another. And we're just gonna lift and lower. So here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Turn the weights to have the palms face forward. Keep your elbows tucked in. Let's do some regular bicep curls. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so let's try this. We're going to do some um, shoulder press. Anybody with a shoulder problem, please don't do any weight. Just press the arms up. So let's start. Elbows parallel, or upper arms parallel to the floor. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, eight, sorry, eight. <laughs> Track that one. All right, let's do, let's try and put some of that together. So we're going to do hammer curl, lower, curl, bicep curl, turn, and lift. Lower, bicep, hammer curl, I'll get it. Bicep curl, press, and lower. Hammer curl, bicep curl, Press and lower, hammers, biceps, oops, press up and lower, hammer, biceps, press and lower, one more, hammer, bicep, press and lower, good. So let's do some um, leg work. Step forward with your left foot. Take the right leg out behind you. Weights in each hand. So we're going to lower and lift. You can bring your foot to the floor, your right knee to the floor, or you can bring it up in front of you. Look so down two, three. Keep your eyes focused on one item, four or one place, five, oops, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And let's switch sides. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. And you can set the weights down. And let's come back to. Back to yoga. So, um, let's 
So it comes to the top of your mat. And grab your blocks. And just come to forward fold. Again, a little bend in your knees. Let your head hang down towards the floor. And then bend and straighten your legs. Good. And then straighten the legs. Bring your blocks onto the mat. One to each pinky toe side. So right hand to the right pinky toe, left hand to the left pinky toe. And then step your right foot back to come into a high lunge, a runner's lunge. And move your blocks back now to be on either side of your ankle. Good. And then press down into your blocks, lift up your chest. Slide your hips back, straighten your left leg. And then bend your left knee. Slide your hips back, straighten the leg. And then bend the left knee. Now you can leave your toes curled, your right toes can stay curled, or if you like, you can bring the foot in and lower the heel down if your balance is not great today. And then slowly bring your hands to your left thigh and reach your arms up for crescent lunge. And then bring your hands forward to your blocks. Walk the blocks forward and step the right foot next to the left. And now step your left foot back. Bring your blocks to either side of the right ankle and bend your right knee for a runner's lunge. Press down into your blocks and then slide your hips back, straighten your right leg. Bend your knee and then slide the hips back and straighten. And one more time, bend your knee. Now slowly again, you can step your foot, your back foot in if you want, want it to be on the floor. If not, you can keep the toes permanent. Bring your hands to your thigh. And then reach your arms up for present lunge. Bring your hands to your blocks. Walk the blocks forward. Step your left foot up to meet the right. And into forward fold. And then slowly roll yourself up. Come up to standing. Reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at your hips. Bring your hands to your shins. Inhale up halfway. Exhale and lower. Bend your knees, bring your hands onto the floor. Walk your feet back to come into downward facing dog. Glide forward to plank. Remember, you can always bring your knees down if you need to. Press back for downward dog. Look forward to your hands. Step your left foot forward. Bring your right foot in and lower the heel onto the mat. And then inhale. Again, you can bring your hands to your thigh if you want, or come all the way up for warrior one. Take the right arm forward, left arm back. Inhale your arms up. Take the left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale your arms up. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. Hinge forward and then twist. Take your right elbow onto the left thigh and twist. Bring your hands to the floor. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale halfway up. Exhale lower. 
And then inhale all the way up. Reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Lower down. Bend your knees. Bring your hands to the floor. Walk your feet back to come to downward facing dog. Slide forward for plank. Press back for downward dog. Step your right foot forward. Bring the left heel down onto the mat. Inhale up, hands on the thigh. We're all the way up. For warrior one. Good. Take the right arm forward, left arm back. And then reach the arms up. Left arm forward, right arm back. Reach your arms up. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. Hinge forward. Whoops. We're having lots of whoops today. <laughs> and then as you exhale, twist, bring your left elbow onto the right thigh or over the right thigh. Good. Bring your hands to the floor. Bring the left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale and lower. And then inhale, come all the way down. Reach your arms up. Exhale your arms down by your sides. Pause for a moment in Tadasana. And then let's, um, all right. Let's take the legs wide. And turn your left toes out to 90 degrees. Turn your right toes in. Soften your knee. Turn your thigh to the pinky toe side to align your ankle, knee, and hip. And then straighten the front leg. Reach your arms out to a T. Relax your shoulders. Glide forward. Reach with the left arm. Bend into your left hip. Bring your hand to your shin. If you have any shoulder issues, bring your hand to your hip. Otherwise, take the arm up. Press down into your feet. Inhale, reach up, reverse your triangle. Come back to arms parallel. Reach back with your back hand. Bend your left knee for warrior two. Look out over your fingertips. Reach your arms up and bend your knee. Reach your arms up and bend. Reach back with your right hand. Straighten the left leg. Bring your hands to your hips and turn your feet. Take the right toes out to 90 degrees. Turn your right to left toes in. Soften your knee. Turn the thigh to the pinky toe side. Straighten your leg. Reach your arms out to a T. Relax your shoulders. Reach with the right arm, bend into your right hip. Bring your hand to your shin, your hip, or you can take the arm all the way up. Your triangle. Press down into your feet, inhale, reach up, reverse your triangle. Come back to arms parallel. Reach back with the left arm, bend your right knee for warrior two. Look out over your fingertips. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale and lower. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale and lower. 
Reach back with the back hand, straighten your front leg, bring your hands to your hips, turn your feet, heel toe or hop or step your feet together. And then with your hands, now you, you might want to just bring your bring a hand to a chair or a piece of furniture. You're going to do tree. So bring your feet together. Find a focal point, fix your gaze. Press down into the left big toe mound and big toe. And then take your right foot either to your ankle, to your calf, or if it's in your practice, you can come all the way up into your thigh, wherever it works best for you. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. And then reach your arms up. And then lower the arms, lower the foot. And let's start again with the hands at your hips. Press down into the big toe mound, your right foot and the big toe. Find your focal point. Bring the left foot either to your ankle or to your calf. Or again, if it's in your practice, you can come all the way up into your thigh. Good. Bring your hands to your heart center. Reach your arms up. And then lower your arms, lower your legs. Take your feet about hip distance apart, make some circles with your hips. And go the other way. And then step your feet together. And then come to the top of the mat, reach your arms up, fold forward. Bring yourself down onto your mat. Roll onto one hip. Take your legs out in front of you. Hold on behind your knees as you roll yourself down and rock your knees in and out. Take your knees as wide as your shoulders and rock from side to side. And then come back to the middle, bring your feet to the floor, extend your legs and extend your arms. Point your toes, do a pelvic tilt, stretch the body. And then exhale, bring your arms down by your sides and you can prepare for Shavasana. So take your favorite pose for Shavasana. Your traditional position is to let the feet splay to the corners of your mat. Have your arms out to your sides with the palms facing up. Take a few deep breaths in and out. See if you can let all the muscles go. We tend to grip the face so much during the course of the day. So just let the muscles of your face release. Let them go, let the skin be soft. Thank you. 
slowly begin to bring movement back into your bodies. Are your knees and towards your chest? And then slowly roll to your right side. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. And a long, slow, complete breath out. Gently press yourself up to come and sit comfortably in Sukhasana or any position that's comfortable for you. Bring your hands to the center of your chest and lower your head, reminding us to surrender the busy thinking mind to the wisdom and intuition that resides in your heart. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way home. Namaste.